What is going on you guys? My name is Rick Smith Jr. This is Michael Mage. Hey. Today we are going to teach you how you can find and reveal anyone's phone number. No way. So for this, you're gonna need a deck of playing cards, but I wanna ask you this, Mike. Why were cards created? Uh, to do magic tricks. That's a good answer. It's wrong, but it's a good answer. Uh. Cards were actually created to keep track of time. Let me give you an example. One deck of cards, one calendar year. Red cards, black cards, night, day, four suits, four seasons. 52 cards in the deck. 52 weeks. You got it. If you add every card up, nine plus four plus five plus, add them all up, it's 364. Add the Joker, 365, it gives you one full year. Makes one sense. calendar year, it's pretty cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a deck of cards today with no Jokers to reveal somebody's phone number. All right, to start this off, Mike, I need you to pick any four cards. It doesn't matter, you can pick a clump or pick a clump. perfect. What I want you to do is I want you to place them onto the table. So we have a five, a three, a 10, and a two. To make this a little bit clearer for the audience, let's make every card equal 10. Okay. Okay. So we'll add different cards from the deck. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, and two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Got it. This all comes down to the calendar principle that you guys are gonna understand in just a few moments. So I'm gonna get rid of these cards. Now, if we were never to add them all equal 10, and you added five plus three plus 10 plus two, what would that number be? 20. 20. So if we count 20 cards down, we should get our very own key card. So 20 cards down, we go one, two, three, 18, 19, 20. The key card is a seven. So now this is where you, this is the cool part because we now can put the seven cards face up or face down. What would you like to do? Face down. We'll face down. All right, we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now as of right now, all of these cards look the same. But if I were to flip over these two, they might look the same. All right. I mean, these cards were shuffled. I may be able to find an ace just by putting my hand over. Look at this, there's an ace right here. And these cards aren't marked. Okay, what's this one? That's probably like an eight. And we have a four, this might be a five. This might even be a two. It's the calendar system. Mm -hmm. You're missing this. Okay, Mike, do me a favor. Um, say that number out loud. Eight, two, And this be one. one, good, and nine, five, four, nine, eight, two, one, nine, five, four, nine, eight, do you two, know, one, nine, five. Do you know what five. that is? That's Rick Smith Jr.'s cell phone number. No, it's not my cell phone number. It's, it's an office number in case somebody wanted to call and book a show. That is actually my number. So this is pretty cool because doing this trick, you could force somebody your own phone number or if you're doing this like to entertain somebody, you can actually grab someone's phone number and reveal it. Do you guys wanna learn how it's done? I do. All right, let's go. So to learn this method, all you're gonna have to do is get 52 cards, no jokers, mm -hmm. okay? You're gonna have to find the person's phone number ahead of time. You are gonna reveal it, but if you can obtain their phone number without them knowing, it would be a very scary reveal at the end. So what I do is the last seven cards in the deck would be that person's phone number. For the sake of this trick, 8219549, my office phone number I'm gonna leave at the bottom. Prior to that, I'm going to have our seven, which would be our indicator card or key card. This will be telling us how many cards we should be dealing out and then the rest of the cards don't matter. What really does matter is the volunteer picks four cards. Doesn't you, matter? It does not matter what okay. they are and they all have to equal 10. So you can make whatever so this you like want. Mathematical, like it is a mathematical trick. So depending, it doesn't matter what four cards they pick. If they pick a queen, a queen, a four, and a three, you'll just say, hey, the queens, those are the highest cards here. They're valued at 10. To make it equal, let's make the four and three equal 10 as well. So you would count five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. If no 10 shows up, you can be like, all right, well, the eight was the highest. Let's round it up to 10 and make every card equal 10. That gets you that gets you ready for the actual reveal because once these cards are gone, you ask the spectator to add these cards up. And where do those go? They just can go on the bottom of the deck. Underneath your phone number. Yep, so 10 plus 10 plus 20. four plus three is 27. So all you're gonna do now is you're gonna count down. Put those 20, on the bottom. Yep, you're right back on the bottom. 27 cards down. The 28th card will be a seven. Seven. Yeah. So let's count, put your hand out. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five. 24, 25, 26, 27. No slights, it's already there. That seven is ready to go, For mathematically. Now the seven's there, you should say, okay, let's deal out seven cards then. Okay, so let's deal out seven cards. Now, if you were to do this face up with the person, the question that I like to do when performing this trick is I say, okay, these numbers right here, uh, do they ring a bell? And they'll be like, ring a bell? No, it doesn't ring a bell. Do me a favor, do me a favor. Now this is their phone number, not mine. Uh, well, it is now, but if it was right. the spectator. So this doesn't ring a bell to you. 
All right, do me a favor. Mike, say the number. Yep. Eight, nine, nine. Does that ring a bell? No. No. You know what? And then you go one final time. You say, all right, same in order. Go. Eight, two, one, nine, five, four, nine. Does that ring a bell? Yeah, it's because it's your phone number. So this is a really fun way to reveal somebody's phone number in a secret way. You have a little bit of work ahead of time, but with the right practice, with the right amount of practice, you'll be able to freak some people out. Yeah. A little bonus, uh, what you could do is once you deal these out, you could pull out your phone and say, let's try and type these numbers in. You type in 821-9549. Obviously, it would be their number. Right. You hit call and guess what now their phone's gonna start ringing and be like if you want to learn how to do that <laughs> give me a call later <laughs> and there's your business card so hopefully you learned a pretty cool car trick today if you guys want to learn more tricks like this uh, make sure you guys click the subscribe button below turn your notifications on if you guys would like to see a little bit more about mike comedy magician entertainer check out his page as well we hope you guys had fun see you next time ah.